Hi, in this video we'll talk about the EdgeX Foundry setup. It's a software with multiple services put in together. Here I'm going to show you how to send real-time sensor data to the server by using some of those services. I have divided this topic into three parts, one is the EdgeX Foundry and its setup, second is the sending sensor data to server using HTTP protocol, and the third one is sending sensor data to server using MQTT protocol and data visualization with Grafana. What is Grafana and MQTT we will talk about in third video. Let's start with the first one. I already covered some of these steps with my previous video named installation of Docker. If you have Docker installed on your machine, then you can continue watching this video otherwise go to the Docker installation video from the i button or from the description below. Install the Docker first, then continue watching from here. Now I am going to install the Docker Compose binary. This is used to run multiple services by a single command with our predefined configuration. Now we are ready to run multiple services within containers. In order to run EdgeX services, create a folder and go inside this folder. Here download the docker compose file for EdgeX from this given official link. After complete download, copy this to a file named docker compose.ym. There are multiple services defined inside this file. Whenever you run the docker compose command, it will search for the docker compose.yml file and try to run all the services defined inside it. Before going to run all services, it is safe to download all images to your local machine with docker compose pull command. It will pull all the defined images from the docker repository. error while pulling images, then no need to worry, you can run the same command again to successful download. After successful download of all the images, you can list them with the command docker images. It will list all the images that define inside the docker compose file. Now you can actually run the edgex foundry by running all these services. To do that run the command docker compose up d. Now check the running services with command docker ps. Here you can see all the running services, each inside a separate container with their IP and port number. Now the edgex foundry is running on your VM. If you want to access edgex foundry from the VM, then run the given command and get the output, or you can run the same command by piping jq for a structured output. If we want to access this using a UI, then we need to add the UI service inside the docker compose file. Copy the edgex UI go image with all configuration from the post and paste it below the services. Here I am using this test UI you can use any other UI. And please take care of tab and spaces while editing docker compose file. In order to access your edgex services outside from the VM, 
please mention the IP address as 0.0.0.0 instead of loopback address. After saving the changes, restart all services with the same command, it will update the configuration for all running services and will start the new services. Now check the running UI service using the docker ps command. Remember the port number that refers to the UI service. Now go outside of this VM within the network and open any browser and put the IP address of the EdgeX Foundry VM followed by the port number of the UI service. And here you get the access to the EdgeX Foundry. If you like this video, hit the like button and watch the next one.